Hey everyone, welcome to a Viking Creates. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a latex missing eye socket, just like this one. Alright, let's get started. To begin, you'll need some liquid latex, some parchment paper, and a popsicle stick. Since I wanted the eye to fit inside the goggles, I went ahead and traced around the shape of the lens so that I knew how much space I had to work with. Once I had a rough tracing of the lens cap, I began to sketch out the general shape of the eye that I wanted to make. Once I had the eye sketched, I used the popsicle stick to take some liquid latex and just fill in the area between the eye socket and the border of the lens cap. Since we're going for an empty eye socket, you can apply the latex pretty heavily to help build up depth. The latex may run and expand while you're working with it, but it's very easy to sculpt it back into the original shape that you wanted. Rolled up paper towel is a great way to give any latex project some volume. So to create the upper and lower eyelids, I just twisted up a little piece of paper towel and added it there, and then covered it with some latex. I wanted the lower lid to have a little bit more volume to it, so I added a little bit more paper towel and covered that with latex as well. As you build up the layers for your eye socket, it's important to blend in each layer so that it looks a lot more natural. Once I was happy with the depth of the eye socket, I took a sculpting tool to clean up some of the edges and make it look a little more well, like an eye socket. Once the latex had dried a little bit, I wasn't quite happy with the texture on it. So I took a sculpting tool and just began kind of pulling up at some of the latex, making it kind of rough and mutated looking, which is what I was going for for the finished product.
So for painting the prosthetic, I use Liquitex Basics. I like these paints. They're a good heavy body pigment that goes on with the latex really well. I begin with a little bit of dark green. And then added some white. But unfortunately, when I mixed them together, it turned out a little bit too much like mint toothpaste for my taste. So I add a little bit of black to darken it up some. And mixing these together gave me a nice sickly gray that I was pretty happy with. I then added a bit of brown to give it more of a decayed flesh kind of look. So after some trial and error, I finally had a base coat that I was pretty happy with. And I just began painting it pretty heavily all over the latex piece. Next I made a wash using some flesh tone and some universal acrylic thinner. With a wash you want it to be pretty thin so that the underlying base coat can show through. Once I had the wash applied, I put a thin layer of Trader Green over it to highlight some of the greens in the base coat. Once I had that green applied, I used a little bit of sepia ink to pick out some of the details and really give some depth to the latex piece.
Once the piece had a good plague zombie mutant look to it, I used some of my favorite paint, Blood for the Blood God, to go around the eye socket itself to give it a nice bloody look. Once the latex piece was done, I used a bit of mesh cloth attached to the back of it to hide my eye and so that I could actually see out of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you like what I'm doing and want to help me keep doing it, head over to the Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash a Viking creates. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at a Viking creates. All right, until next time. Thanks.